Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Star Wars Coffee, where in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the latest leaks for Grand Admiral Thrawn in the Ahsoka Disney Plus series. That's right now on Star Wars Coffee. Grand Admiral Thrawn has been rumored in the Ahsoka series since the second season of The Mandalorian when Ahsoka first appeared. Season 2, Episode 5, entitled The Jedi to be exact, when she asks where Thrawn is. Now for those of you who aren't familiar with Grand Admiral Thrawn, since you're probably just a live action watcher if you aren't familiar with that, Grand Admiral Thrawn was introduced in Star Wars Rebels in the canon when Governor Price of Lothal wanted a stronger commander to dismantle the rebellion. Emperor Palpatine answered this call with Grand Admiral Thrawn. Thrawn was a male with striking blue skin, red eyes, and angular face. Known for his brilliant strategic mind and ruthlessness, he was determined to pull the rebels apart piece by piece. So what you need to know about Thrawn is that he is in Star Wars Rebels, and spoiler warning for those of you who haven't seen all of Star Wars Rebels yet, but of course it's been out for years at this point, so if you don't think it's a big deal, you can continue to listen, otherwise you might want to skip a couple of minutes. He is the reason Ahsoka is, you know, out there and on the search for Ezra. Now, why is Thrawn important to Ezra? Because Thrawn essentially captured Ezra, and they were the cliffhanger for Star Wars Rebels. So naturally, Ahsoka presumes that Thrawn has Ezra, so she's looking for Thrawn in hopes to find Ezra. Now with that being the case, there have been rumors for months and maybe a year at this point if we're at that part, where we've heard different rumors for Thrawn. Originally, the fan casting was Benedict Cumberbatch. Of course, he then said, yeah, he's not going to be doing that. He has too much and he doesn't want to get blue. So. Looks like, according to Christopher Mark, that Ahsoka has indeed hired Lars Mikkelsen to play Thrawn in the Ahsoka series, and he will have his traditional white uniform in the series. Lars has been rumored for ages and previously has already voiced the characters in Star Wars Rebels. So again, it would make sense that they actually cast him, considering that they already did this with Bo-Katan, when the character of Bo-Katan was modeled after the actress who plays her. So it makes sense that Lars Mikkelsen would indeed be the one to play Thrawn. He has the same facial structure for it already, so it would only make sense that if he ends up playing the live action Thrawn. Now, of course, Christopher Mark isn't the first one to actually make these rumors. This has been going on for months now, but he seems to have a source to him that has confirmed it. Of course, nothing is official until, you know, it's like picked up by the Hollywood Reporter or something and it leaks in that fashion. But this is definitely an indication that Disney is probably likely going to go with Lars, given the fact that they already have Katie Sackhoff as Bo-Katan from Translation Live Action. They didn't do it with Rosa or with... They didn't do it with Ahsoka because they did end up hiring Rosario Dawson, but, however, it seems that, given the fact that Lars Mikkelsen does look just like Thrawn, that it makes the most sense that he would play him since he's already got the voice for him, since he is the voice for him, and it would make sense just to continue that train rolling. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching, may God bless you, and the Force be with you always. If you enjoyed this episode, and frankly, even if you didn't, don't forget to subscribe. Do it! And if you want to help spread the word, please give this video a thumbs up and tell your friends to subscribe. Please check out the official Star Wars Coffee merchandise, and don't forget to check out all of the content playlists on this channel, including The Rise of Skywalker, The Mandalorian, and much more.